Well, I gotta take something back I said in my Simpsons movie review. Okay, so I was debating on what to talk about this week because really there's nothing special coming out in theaters this weekend. That is what I like to now call Uter Bullshit. Because I just saw Patan and it was awesome! Patan is the newest action movie from India and is the fourth in a franchise known as the YRF Spy Universe franchise, which I just found out existed like an hour ago. And in this movie, Bataan is the best spy there is, and he's given the task of taking down a group of mercenaries led by the evil Jim. Yes, the villain of this movie is just named Jim. And Jim has a plan to release a smallpox virus around the world. Look, I gotta be honest about something. Hollywood needs to be fucking terrified of India movies right now. Because between movies like this, Brahmastra, and RRR, I've had more fun at these movies than I have had at any action movie that's been released in America in the past year. Look. If I was ever making an action movie, I'd want to look something like this, sound something like this, and act something like this. I love these Indian action movies so much because they all just say fuck physics and go with it. And I just love action movies like that. From beginning to end, I just have the biggest smile on my face watching this crazy ass action unfold. Where there'll be two guys fighting on top of a truck while one of the guys holds a robe that's attached to two helicopters. And then at one point, he pulls the helicopters down and then like holds them down to the truck and they're about to crash into a building. Or two guys riding around on motorcycles on a sheet of ice trying to grab a MacGuffin. Also, this scene looks exactly like the motorcycle chase scene from Mission Impossible 2. Which, to be honest, this feels like the indie version of a Mission Impossible movie. The cinematography is also great. In the action scenes, there will be points of like fast cut editing and it never gets to the point where it looks like sloppily edited or just like really goddamn choppy. The musical numbers are also really good. They're well shot, the lighting's really good, the dancing is great, and there was even one of them I was humming on my way out of the theater. The movie's pacing is also really great. It's two and a half hours long and never once did I feel that runtime. There's also so many badass lines in this movie that you could probably fill a whole book with them. Probably my favorite that I can remember off the top of my head is the one at the very beginning where he says, Are you ready to befriend the devil? But yeah, I had a freaking blast at this movie. It's got a lot of great action, a memorable main character, and if the other three movies in this franchise are anything like this one, hell yeah, I'm gonna hunt those down immediately. I'm gonna give Baton an A-. minus. If you just love fuck physics action movies like I do, go see this one in theaters immediately. And I'll be honest, I was a little mad that the theater I went to has an RPX screen and was not showing this movie in there because they still have Avatar. Who gives a fuck? We all know that's not even the best sequel showing in theaters right now. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll be back later with a review of the movie You People. See you then.